Welcome to another Fast Tips video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, we're going to talk about proper Microsoft Access Query Criteria logic with AND, OR, and NOT. We're going to learn about AND across, OR down. One skill that is vital for any Access developer is knowing how to use AND, OR, and NOT in your queries to get the right set of data. So let's say, let's create a query here, create query design. And we don't need the property sheet. Let's bring in the customer table. And let's say I want to see all of the customers who are from Florida. Easy enough, right? Bring in the state. Come down here in the criteria row. And inside of quotes, put in FL. Now, run the query. And there's the customers from Florida. No problem. Now let's say I want to see the customers that are from Florida or New York. Notice over here you got the little or. All right, this row is or. The rule is or down and across. So if I want to see Florida or New York, I just simply put New York below it. Now I'll see everybody from Florida or New York. Okay, you with me so far? All right, back to design view. You got to think of it a little differently than you say it in English. Like in English, you might say, I want to see everyone from Florida and everyone from New York. All right, but that's technically an or condition for the computer, right? Show me all the states that are Florida or New York. All right. Now let's get rid of New York. So we just got back to Florida. Okay. Let's say we also have a field in here called is active. Bring that in. And if you run that now, you'll see everybody. This person's not active. These three people are. What if you want to see people who are from Florida and are active? Well, that's an and condition that goes across. So now you come over here and you can either put yes or you can put true, All right, whichever you prefer. And now when you run it, there you go. Everyone from Florida and they have to also be active. Okay, what if you want to flip that? What if you want to see everybody from Florida or everyone who's active well we just come in here and we take this true and we move it down one row remember and across or down so now it says show me anybody from florida or anybody who is active regardless of what state they're from and if i run it now there you go see you got florida people and you got everybody who's active okay what if you want to see everybody from Florida who is active or anybody from New York, regardless of their active status? And it looks like that, right? And across or down. Got to be from Florida and active or just from New York. And now if I run it now, there you go. There's a New Yorker who's not active. And another New Yorker who is active, but that doesn't matter because for that row, that criteria is not part of it. Now, if you want to see everybody from Florida who is active and everybody from New York who is also active, just put the true there. Okay, and now they got to be from New York and active as well. Now, if you got a whole bunch of these, right, let's say you got Texas and you got Georgia, right, and you don't want to keep having to make different rows and keep copying all these different criteria down because you might have criteria across four or five different fields. Okay, well, there's a shorthand way you could write this. Okay, let me get rid of this stuff. All right, delete, 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 delete. Okay, you could come in here, and I'll zoom in so you can see this better. Shift F2 to zoom in, right? This could be Florida or New York or Texas or as many, of, as many items as you want in here, right? So Florida or New York or Texas, that's all part of one condition, and it has to be true. And if I run it now, there you go. I don't think we have any Texans in here that are active. Okay. There's even a shorter way you could write this too. You could use the, the in function, which is a little bit easier than that. You could say in and then New York, comma, PA, comma, Florida, comma, Texas. It's just another shorthand. The in function. That's from SQL. See, so run that, and there you go. And, of course, there's also the not condition you can use as well. If you don't want them to be in that group, you could say not in those states. And now if you run it, there's everybody who's not in those states, but are active. See? 
Lots you can do with this stuff, folks. But the key thing to remember is and across or down. If you want to learn more, I cover this stuff in a lot more detail in my Access Beginner Level 5 class. You'll find this on my website. I'll put a link down below you can click on, and it'll take you right there. It covers all kinds of extra stuff. We spend a lot of time on multiple and and or conditions and inequalities and between and all kinds of crazy stuff. Date conditions. We do some stuff with wildcards, parameter queries, you name it. Again, that's Access Beginner Level 5. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click on the bell icon to select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Make sure you click the show more link down below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Even if you don't want to become a member, feel free to donate to my tip jar. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got puppies to feed. How do you become a member? Click on the Join button below the video. After you click the Join button, you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks. Silver members and up will get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class each month, and more. Gold members get access to download all of the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault, where I keep tons of different functions that I use. You'll also get a higher priority if you decide to submit any tech help questions to me, and you'll get one free expert class each month after you finish the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks, plus even higher priority for tech help questions, access to all of my full beginner courses for every subject, and one free developer class each month after you finish the expert classes. These are the full-length courses found on my website, not just for access, too. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, and lots more. You can now become a Diamond sponsor and have your name or company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown in each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are gonna keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access. It's over four hours long, and I just updated it for 2021. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below that you can click on. And also, if you like level one, level two is just $1. Yep, that's all, $1. And it's free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level, even supporters. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page on my website. You can send me your question there. While you're on my site, feel free to stop by the Access Forum. Lots of good conversations happening there. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course, YouTube. Once again, my name is Richard Ross. Thank you for watching this tech help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something today. I'll see you again soon.